future sunny problem okay hey guys it's sunny welcome to the start of another video i'm very excited for this video well excited excited and scared i've decided that this week i'm going to be doing the reading 200 pages every single day for a whole week challenge okay well actually it's the end of the week now like, i finished the challenge now i'm filming the intro because i was too scared of commitment i didn't know if i would actually be able to make it out alive so in case the video got scrapped i didn't even bother filming an intro happy to report that it's the end of the week now and i did in fact complete the challenge it's just me and my kindle against the world the challenge is straightforward literally exactly what it sounds like i just write 200 pages every single day whatever those 200 pages look like but like i said i read on my kindle and epub pages are like inconsistent i still wanted to stay true to the challenge so what i did is i just searched up the pages on goodreads and then i calculated percentages pages to percentage percentage to pages grade 7 math is really coming in clutch so that's what i ended up doing i was just tracking it by percentages but i promise i did stay true you guys can check my math if you want actually no don't do that so that's what this video is my game plan going into this was just trying to read the 200 pages all in one spurt just to make sure that i got it done and how did i do that you might ask very easy I motivated myself by picking cute outfits. It's literally a life hack. You need to go to the gym, cute gym outfit. You need to go study, cute cafe, library, mysterious girl in a bookstore outfit. It's so easy. So that's literally what I did for this video. I even did it to film this intro to this video. It's like the strap list with these straps. It's tied at the back so you can do it however you want. Matching bolero. Everything that I wore from this video is from Lucan, which if you're a broke college student, Lucan is your best friend. Literally all the clothes that I'm wearing every single day in this video is going to be from Lucan, which if you don't know, Lucan is like the leading fashion fashion brand for like Korean fashion the fashion of my people so if you're into the styles that you see a lot of maybe your favorite k-pop idols y2k fashion streetwear basics all that stuff lukin lily has everything it really is an authentic k fashion brand like they are based in korea i'll vouch my korean passport on it and even then they have free shipping worldwide so like are you joking everything is so affordable but with like the best styles i'll have their website in the description and they give you guys a special discount code um so you can use sunny k20 and then it will save you money so if you see anything I'm wearing in this video, you guys want to twin with me, then you guys can do that. Okay, let's get into the 200 pages a day challenge. It was a wild one. Okay, so to start off so strong, I actually lost my footage for the first day. Also, everyone, look at me. I'm going to take a nap. I also loved my outfit this day, so I'm so sad that I lost the footage, but you can kind of see it in this. I'm wearing like this crop top little white shirt and then these like pajama bottoms. I actually wear it on the last day of this challenge too, so like you'll see it. Same thing with the hoodie that I end up wearing. It's literally my favorite hoodie of all time now, like the fit and the thickness. Again, I end up wearing it, so you'll see. I started off by reading Immortal Longings by Koei Gong. This is the start of her new adult fantasy book series. It's like a dystopia fantasy, and it basically takes place in a world where people can like body jump, which means that you can literally just like jump from body to body. It's kind like the hunger games like to the death with like 88 participants across the entire city and we're following two of the participants one is like a princess that everyone thought was dead and then one is this guy who was like exiled and then they meet and they kind of form this unlikely alliance throughout the games hey hi everyone back at it again to read 200 more pages today I decided that i want to try to knock out the 200 pages right now so i don't have to worry about it for the rest of the day i was also watching the formula one race okay, i'm gonna change out of my sweaty gym clothes if anyone is curious about how to get motivated to go to the gym the secret is to get cute gym clothes like this it's a giant t shirt it says giants football i have my little shorts i'm gonna go shower i'm gonna come back I ignore my hair okay it's time for me to get these 200 pages done let me show you my reading fit i have this little top i literally got this top because there is one just like this at brandy that i wanted it's like a little baby again i love a baby tee then the pants that i have on big black like parachute cargo pants they're like cargo so they have pockets they're so comfortable that i can just lounge around and read and like the waist oh, i just love it i think it's so flattering anyway so that's the fit i think this book was 372 pages so if i write 200 pages yesterday that means I have to read this book plus 25 more pages, which means we'll have to start a new book, but we'll burn that bridge when we get there. Guys, I finally finished More to Longings by Chloe Gong. I know it doesn't look like it, but it literally took me over four hours to finish that book and read the last like 172 pages. Not because of the book. The book was great. The book was actually amazing. Like, it's because I kept falling asleep while I was trying to read. I was laying in my bed. I would literally fall in and out of micro naps. And then I ended up just taking a full nap by accident for like an hour or something. It's not the book's fault. It's literally just like a magical superpower that I have where if I'm lying down and reading, I will fall asleep. And it 
it's so bizarre. It has nothing to do with how tired I am. If I just like sit up and then read, nothing. The second I lie down and I read, I'm out. Let me talk about Immortal Longings because oh my gosh, everybody has to go and read this book right now. I actually don't think I've ever had this much of a reaction to like the plot twist in a book while I was reading it. Because I feel like when I read books, like even the biggest plot twist ever, I like how you don't actually laugh when you're like by yourself. You just like exhale through your nose like a little bit harder. It's always like that. But with this book, I was genuinely like, I had to get up out of my seat and I was like, Oh my gosh, it's like the jumping, like the body jumping was done so well. It's so simple, so effective. And I think something that Chloe Gong does really well is the romance subplot that are like laying underneath like the main plot. She previously only did young adult, but this is definitely adult because it's super graphic and also the spice. I didn't hate it. Like I never like like it. I'm either always like neutral to it or I just like, I'm like, okay, well, I don't really care. There is very minimal in this. I think there's only like one scene and even that's like pretty bare minimum. So if you want to read like an adult fantasy book but you really don't like spies, and I highly recommend this because it literally was like one scene and it was like fine. Had a lot of good tropes, a lot of like knife to the throat scenes if you like that. And I like that there are multiple sub plots of romance. There's this one little subplot in here that I was actually the biggest I liked their relationship more than even the main couple in this. It's between like the prince and then his bodyguard. I thought it was so cute. I wish we had actually gotten more of that and I don't even know if we're gonna get more of that in the next book. But anyway, I'm really excited for this next book. Oh my god. Anyway, that was only 172 pages for today. I still need to read. Not me. Can't even do simple mental math. I need to read 28 more pages so we need to start our next book. I feel like I want to read this book just because I know that it's another one with like games in like a dystopia which is kind of what Immortal Longings was. I think that I'm gonna read Red Rising by Pierce Brown. I don't know that much about it even though I did read some of it like years and years ago like when I was in middle school because in middle school some of my best friends at the time like they were all obsessed with this book series. Everyone was obsessed with it and loved it except for me for some reason I did try reading it. It wasn't hitting. I don't really know what it was about it so I'm curious see if I'm gonna like it this time around now that I'm older. I need to know what my friends were on because I trust their judgment. I trust their taste. Okay, we all read Percy Jackson together, which means that we're bonded for life now. It's like a dystopia where there's a cast system. And I remember our main character, his name's Darrow. I think he's like in like the lower cast or something. And I just know they're like war games that happen. I think that was the part that I didn't understand when I was in middle school. Maybe I was like too cognitively limited and now I'm not. Maybe I still am. Alright, 28 out of 382. That's only 7%. So I only need to read 7% of this book. I really forgot to say like the most crucial part about this book, which is the fact that it takes place on Mars and there's a whole caste system in place based on blood and red is the lowest, which is what Darrow is. I'm at 7%. That took up so much of my day. It's literally the early evening. Now I started this in the morning. Am I a bad reader? Why is it such a struggle for me to read 200 pages? I always fall asleep. That is my thing. I fall asleep. Is anyone else like this? We'll see how it goes tomorrow. <laughs> here to come on the record right now video evidence that it's the same day i'm about to do extra credit i want to read my book while i make dinner slash while i'm eating dinner i'll tell you guys how many pages i end up reading i'll have to calculate it look at me going above and beyond also look how cute my little home evening lounge outfit is one thing about me is that i love an oversized long sleeve this one's blue it says manhattan i think on it quality's so good and thick and it's really so perfect time for me to read more red rising okay hello it's the next day i did end up reading more last night Night. Um, and I also ended up starting another book. Um, I just can't commit to books. Let me calculate how much extra credit I did so that I get the credit that I deserve. Okay, so I went from 7 to 13%, which is... Oh my God, I have to do so much math. Around 23 pages. And then I read... I started Lovers Like Us by Chris and Becca Ritchie, which is the next book in the Like Us series because I just had the strongest urge ever to just return to these characters. I'm literally kneeling on the floor, by the way. Oh my God, my... And I read 18% of it last night, which is... Out of 401 pages, 72. Okay, so I read around 95 pages of extra credit. Sadly, based on this challenge, it has no significance whatsoever. But I just want moral dessert. Anyway, now it's 4.37 in the evening because that's such a late start to this day. I need to read my 200 pages today. Also, look at my outfit. It's so cute. I literally wear a variation of this every single day. I like the material, actually. It's like a waffle. I can't tell. Which is nice and thick, which I love. It has a motorcycle print on it. Okay, time to read my 200 pages. I don't know what book I'm gonna read it from. I'll see you guys when I finish my 200. So the Like Us series follows the kids of the addicted Calloway sister main characters. So this one is following Maximoff and his bodyguard Pharaoh. They're all bodyguard romances. Guys, update. I didn't read and now it's 10 p.m. It's gonna take me like three hours. Settled in now. I just did the math. I need to read 67% of this book tonight. It's 10 p.m.
I know that I have in fact accidentally fell asleep while trying to read these 200 pages three out of the three days that I've been doing this but for some reason at nighttime I actually never end up actually falling asleep I think something about the daytime and like the sunlight like wish me luck so I just continued reading like us and if you guys have been in the addicted Callaway sisters universe like you know how comforting these characters can be that's why this book was so addicting and like so easy to read also I love Maximoff he's Lily and Lo's son like the eldest one I literally am the biggest fan of him of all time like I'm rooting for him so badly guys update <gasps> That's not that bad. It's 12.34 and I just finally got to 68% of this book, which means that I read my 200 pages. Yes! Okay, I guess tomorrow I'm gonna be finishing this book because I think there's like exactly 200 pages left. Less than 200 pages, so I need to read this book and then I'll start another book tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Happy August 1st. Are you joking me with this? Parachutey windbreaker material. Imagine that with my new sneakers. I just got new... Oh, that's so cute. Genuinely one of my favorite things, I think, from Mookin. I think I'm going to have to end up finishing Lovers Like Us, and then I might continue with reading Red Rising, but I think I'm ready to get back into it. Yeah, okay, I feel like I need to alternate between reading and then doing work. lovers like us i calculated it and i think this was 132 pages something that was left i just need to read 68 more pages today and then i have my allotted 200 i don't know what i'm gonna read next oh i'm gonna continue reading red rise i was at 13 percent for red rising and i did the math so to fill the remaining 68 pages for today's challenge i need to read until the 30 percent mark you know like you have a hyper fixated go-to hoodie this is it for me it's literally perfect i don't it is literally perfect. Okay, hi guys. I listen. It's the next day and I didn't read the 68 pages. I know. But you know what? I'm gonna cash in the extra credit that I did a couple days ago. And I make the rules so it's fine. Okay, in my defense, listen. Just listen. I watched the Barbie movie last night. I went to the 920 showing with my friend. I ended up getting home at 12 in the morning. And I needed to edit a whole video so that it could go up today at noon. And editing videos takes like four or five hours, like minimum. I did briefly consider like, oh, should I just do it for the challenge? But I was honestly like, Loki, I'll take the L because it's not worth me jeopardizing my sleep and having to see the hope from paranormal activity because I get sleep paralysis. My sleep process demon literally comes out when I am not sleeping properly. You know what? I knew that doing extra credit was gonna serve me well. The extra credit that I did was definitely more than the 68 pages that I had to read. But anyway, I still haven't read a single page today because I was working and I look I still need to work, but I can't slack off two days in a row. So I'm just gonna try to get my 200 pages, or at least 100 now and then 100 before I go to sleep or something. Okay, so we're back to Red Rising. The plot of this book starts when Darrow is recruited to go disguise himself as a gold and infiltrate the gold cast and they're like the highest elites in society. Okay, it's almost midnight now. Read my allotted 200 pages finally i'm not like 63 percent low-key it's just been like i was like almost falling asleep because like the middle part of this book where it's like all of these like i don't know war strategies and like games that happening i feel like it's kind of hard to understand anyway i'll see you guys tomorrow for our next 200 pages hey good morning everybody another day another 200 pages okay so if i finish red rising that would have been 130 pages and then i'll have 70 pages to read after that now we're gonna finish red rising i said this last night but i was getting a little bit bored i'm committed i'm gonna finish it again if you can't tell i I was kind of obsessed with these kinds of tops like, except this one is like more full length these pants are like dark gray trousers they're a little bit big time to finish red rising and i'll give you my final thoughts about this book after i finish it hopefully it picks up okay so i'm just here to say that i literally took the fattest nap of all time during this reading session and you're gonna see it right now like look at how long this clip is this is time lapse on my iphone i literally slept for like an hour i think when i got up my phone was hotter than the center of the sun let me tell you oh my god like i have a problem and then this is when i finally get up like are you kidding me I'm outside because there's people in our apartment and I'm too embarrassed to vlog because they're my sister's friends So I'm out here because it's the only place in our apartment that actually has an actual door So I finally finished Red I gave it like a three stars I don't know why I was getting so bored Actually I was trying to think about why Okay well first of all, you know all the books that I read If the main character is a disgusting man I have to have like a little bit of a crush on the disgusting man Daryl is our main character I just like didn't care about him There is a subplot of romance But I also didn't really care about that I think that just because in general the book was written There wasn't like a lot of like emotion that were put into the book And there were some plots But I just don't think I cared enough about the characters I do need to decide the next 
I think it was like 130 pages left. So I just need to read 70 more pages and then I'm done for today. Don't know what I'm in the vibe for. I don't want to read Lotus by Jennifer Hartman. I think it's like childhood friends and then the boy got like kidnapped or something. And he returns like many years later. I'm hoping it's gonna be dark and emotional and makes me cry and throw up. I don't know, it's kind of scary. Like I have a really big fear of like kidnapping and like true crime stuff. Like I'm not one of those true crime junkies. Like I can't. Like, I hope that it's not too scary. The book is 344 pages. 70 out of 344 is 20%. Okay, so I need to read until the 20% mark. This city is so noisy. I'm like so confused about half the sounds that are happening. You can see me eating my girl dinner while I was reading this book. We have our two main characters who are Oliver and Sydney, and they're basically best friends when they're like seven years old until Oliver got abducted on the 4th of July. And then he comes back like 20 years later. And like, we don't know what happened. And it's like dual POV. We get flashbacks to like trying to figure out what happened with the abduction. It's like pretty wild. Hello from my bathroom. I got to 20... 1% actually. I'm actually really liking it so far. This is exactly what I needed, I feel like, after Red Rising. I'm gonna sit, actually. Our characters are Oliver and Sydney. I'm literally picturing Sydney Sweeney. It's that easy for me. She's blonde and her name is Sydney. Hope that it's like a slow burn. Obviously, there's like so many things that are like keeping them from actually being together because like Oliver has like bigger fish to fry. You see Oliver trying to like readjust to the world. He remembers Sydney. It's almost like a mystery. Like, I'm so curious to know like what happened. We get like flashbacks, like dual POV. I kind of wish that it was single POV just her pov and like we don't really know what oliver is thinking because i feel like that would add to like the mystery you know the thing that is like really getting me off guard right now is the fact that oliver talks like sir cole of norwich from like the night before christmas like i don't know why being trapped would make you speak the way that he does like he speaks like very like he's siri like that's the way that he's speaking i'm gonna try to read more this night because i think tomorrow's our last day of the challenge and it'll be great to be able to finish this for the challenge <laughs> This is, might be our final day, but I just calculated for Lotus and I'm going to have to read 58% of this book. So that's 58% more. I was reading a little bit more last night and I ended up being at 26%. So I need to read until 84% in order to reach 200 pages. I'm wearing the same outfit from the first day of this challenge. This combo right here might be my new favorite PJ lounging at home fit. By this point, I think like the romance is kind of getting heavier, you know? But I keep getting thrown off because why does the main guy in this book, Oliver, why is he talking like a robot? Okay, and then it was at this point where I was literally, I mean, you can't tell here, but I was very much skim reading slash skip reading all the romantic parts because I literally just wanted to know what was up with the abduction. But eventually, what did it lead to? Okay, guys, I decided I can't do it. I'm snapping Lotus. I was at 64%, which means that I still need to read 69 more pages. I was on board Lotus, like, in the first, like, 20% because it was mostly about, like, the kidnapping, like, the abduction and stuff. And then once I started getting more into the romance, like, why did he? Talk like he had only watched The Crown for the past 22 years. So I feel like the premise of the book was good and like the beginning, like it had me the first half. I just couldn't with like the ro the romance romance of it, you know? Which I know is silly goofy of me because this is literally a romance book. So what was I expecting? I decided I'm gonna read Killer Instinct by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This is the second book in the Natural series. I read the first book like a long time ago and I actually really liked it. I just never continued the series because I have commitment issues, I guess. But I heard Destiny talking about this book in her recent wrap up and it made me want to read the rest of the series because she loved it so i'm gonna read this if you don't know it's about like criminal minds but like make it ya and there's like a love triangle and there's just like this part of like are they the fbi where they basically recruit like teenagers who are like very very gifted in like one thing or another cast your main character is very good at like profiling unsubs and then there's obviously like a mystery and stuff in it but i'm mostly there just for like the found family and the characters because we meet all the teenagers there's a love triangle and i already know who i like in the love triangle and i'm ready to crack that case wide open my rest of my 200 pages i'm gonna start this book i I didn't want to start another book in this. I was hoping to actually finish a book, but I just couldn't with, you know, one thing about me is that I will DNF books left and right. Okay, let me figure out how much of this book I have to read. Okay, I need to read 18%. I'm done my 200 pages and I've done the rest of this video. Hopefully I make it to 18%, but honestly with me, who knows? Okay, so I got the chapter 10 of Killer Instinct, which is exactly 18%. So that concludes the 200 pages for today. Also concludes 200 pages every single day for one week. So I successfully completed that challenge, even though Loki, I feel like, it killed me a little bit. I had one slip up, okay, but we all get one freebie. I don't know why I thought that 200 pages would not be a lot. And then I started reading it. I feel like I have a stunted view of like what 100 pages is because I never read books like physically. I always read books like on my Kindle. And so I feel like in my head, 100 pages takes like one hour. So like 200 pages would be two hours, right? But then tell me why these hoes took four or five hours. Maybe it's because I kept napping. I think I will conclude in the fact that weirdly, I feel like even if it's not 200 pages, like if I just have like an hour throughout the day to spare, 
like maybe I could be reading more than I thought that I could. Sorry, there's voices outside. Maybe I'll go to my bathroom. Okay, I guess we're gonna be finishing this video in here, but you should have subscribed down below if you haven't already. Follow me on my socials, they're all linked in the description. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!